For more than three decades, they've helped change the sound of rock music. British band The Cult have dedicated fans throughout the world, have sold millions of albums, and yet some local fans are still surprised to hear of the lead singer's deep Ontario connections. Actually, when I was living, when I moved to Hamilton, uh, my father encouraged us, my sister, my brother to, he said, here we are in a new country, let's get into the, you know, why don't you try some of the local sports, regional sports. So my brother played baseball, I think my sister was figure skating, and I ended up playing, for some reason, football. But they put me on an offensive line. I used to just get trashed every week. I just didn't understand what the point was of the game. Where I was getting these guys who were like 150 pounds bigger than me, flattening me. Because that dripping wet was about 100 pounds. And I was just a weedy kid. So I was getting flattened and really hated it. My father kept me going. He said, no, you've got you to try and you know, ingratiate yourself into the culture. your time in Hamilton, did it influence your musical taste at all? I think it had to. Uh, it's, I mean, now in retrospect, it was, it was I think, being um, coming from the UK at the time, I'm like, I kind of came with like, you know, a handful of records. One of them was uh, Bowie's Life on Mars. We didn't have as much access in the UK at the time to music, but in, you know, coming here and it's like, all of a sudden it's FM radio, where, where they're playing entire album cuts. Or being in Hamilton when Pink Floyd played in 75, going down with my brother to collect bottles at Idlewind Stadium and seeing the airplane crash into the stage when they're doing Shine On Your Crazy Diamond. So yeah, huge music culture in Canada. And then going back to the UK, uh, you know, with kind of some of those experiences. Now, if it surprised you that Ian actually grew up in the Hamilton, another fun fact he told me is that he actually used to sew all of his outfits he wore on stage. Lindsay Dunn, City News, Toronto.